Hey everybody, Jason here. Uh, I'm just recording this from my phone. It's it's not the most professional setup here, but I'm still tinkering with how best to capture what's happening on the Steam Deck. And as you might notice, I have Windows 10 up and running, and that is thanks to the uh, the brand new GPU, wireless, and Bluetooth drivers that Valve supplied on their uh, Steam Deck support page. And I'm just showing you here that uh, this is this is kind of unexpected, it's kind of cool. If you look on the right side of your screen, you'll see I'm using the touchpad, and it is controlling the cursor as you would expect it to do in SteamOS. And it's very sensitive, it's very accurate. There are haptics, and that's nice. And then, uh, of course, the right trigger is your primary mouse button, and the left trigger would be your right click. So that is working kind of as you'd expect, which is neat. So I've also got my, uh, I've got a Bluetooth keyboard hooked up here, and I am going to show you what the system looks like kind of just under, you know, idle use. Uh, let's go to performance, and can you see that? I hope you can see that. It's, <laughs> I really need to figure out the, a good way to capture on-screen stuff here. Uh, I do have a capture card, but I'm kind of saving that for gameplay stuff. Um, besides, then I couldn't show you this. So if I if I pull back a little bit, you can see it is also connected to my 4K monitor. And uh, the nice thing about this on Windows 10 is that you probably expect that from you know any operating system, but it does support independent scaling for each of your displays, which is which is good. It's good that that support is there out of the box. What you're seeing, I hope <laughs> you're seeing, is uh, CPU idling at about one to three uh, percent. And after a fresh installation and after the first batch of Windows updates, our memory is sitting at about 3.1 gigabytes uh, while it's idle. And the this GPU is basically doing nothing. So, uh, 3.1 gigs on the memory, so I'm going to make a note of that, and then um, we're going to look at what equivalent uh, resource usage looks like under SteamOS in, in desktop mode. But that's just for later. I just wanted to let you know that I have Windows uh, 10 up and running, and the GPU driver is installed. And what you can probably expect going forward is a, a series of videos looking at benchmark performance of the same games on Windows 10 and the default SteamOS on the Steam Deck. I think that's gonna be a very important thing to analyze. And uh, and then, yeah, of course, you know, I'm gonna do what everybody else is doing. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna load up Epic Game Store and we're gonna load up Destiny 2 and Lost Ark and see how those perform. Uh, because, you know, this is an open PC and Valve has said, use it how you wanna use it. And if you guys wanna dual boot, in the in the near future, if uh, you want to dual boot Linux or uh, SteamOS itself and Windows, then you're more than welcome to do that. Also, one other interesting note. Now, right now, I have um, my USB-C dongle plugged in, and as you can see here, I've got my HDMI and a wireless mouse and the Steam Deck's official power supply. And you see that it says plugged in 98%. But when I unplug the power, it's pretty much <laughs> not going to change the status. So there is some weirdness happening with um, with the battery on Windows 10 so far. Uh, but again, I'm going to do a lot of, there's a lot of testing, there's a lot of stuff to unpack, and uh, I'll keep you posted. Let me know what you want to see down in the comments. We'll chat again soon, and uh, in the meantime, you guys take care, take care of each other. Thanks for watching. Bye.